everybody, it's Amy, and tonight I'm here um, with some cute little embellishments that I made. I made these cute little floss bows and yarn bows. Um, they were inspired by Maggie Holmes. She has her new Willow Lane collection out, and it's super duper cute. And you can, and part of the collection, you can purchase um, tassel like these floss um, bow embellishments. And I wanted to make some of my own in my own colors. I did order these um, bows as well from the collection, but I haven't received them yet. A cherry on top seems to be keeping my pre-order hostage. But hopefully, I, it shipped, so hopefully I'm going to have my um, Maggie Holmes pre-order on Monday. But I was excited and I wanted to get started. So I made all these little floss bows and tassels. I also made uh, little matching tassels and then the yarn bows. And yarn tassel. I made that using um, my Zutter Bow It All, and um, I thought they came out really, really super cute. Um, and I used it, and you know, used the colors that I like. And then for the yarn ones, I used like this gold um, thread so that there was more contrast and you could see better. Um, you know, I thought that that would work a little bit better with the yarn, which is fluffier than the um, embroidery floss. And then the other thing I did. You know, I made these other tassels to match my bows um, that I was making, my floss bows. I made floss tassels at the same time. I also used the bow at all for that. And then what I did was I made one option here, because I thought this would be cute, to make a bow with a bow and a tassel combo. So that's, um, whoops, that's that guy there. Super duper cute. Now, if you don't have the bow at all, Crafting with Lily, or Lily here on YouTube. She did a great tutorial creating these bows without the bow at all. She just used some, um, I think, like common items. So you could do that. And the other thing I want to show you, you know, follow Lily's tutorial. Don't have to have the bow at all. If you do, I think it makes the job a little bit easier. Um, the bow at all is um, available for purchase on Amazon still so if you want to check it out you can look there I think it's like 25 or 29 dollars or something and when I say embroidery floss this is what um, I mean you know by that you can pick this up at Hobby Lobby Joann's Michael sells this stuff so yeah so let me get started I'll show you my bow at all I have one of the original bow at alls because um, I bought this. I've been crafting a while and I bought this when it first came out. I think it was probably about eight or nine years ago, maybe even ten years ago. And now the one on Amazon that I saw, it was, um, I think they're purple now and it was really pimped up. Um, it, had a, it seemed to have a little bit more going on than mine. And um, But I really, really like mine and I do use it to make um, bows all the time. And people ask me, um, you know, one, one of the questions I get making YouTube videos is how I make my bows. This is you know, pretty much the um, device I use. Kind of, oops, I'm going to zoom up here. I want you to get a good look at it. Yeah, so that's my bow at all. Okay, so to just to show you what you need in addition to the bow at all, I have like a good sharp pair of scissors. I have this guy, I forget what this is called, some kind of plier to use to do the jump rings. I have um, jump rings in silver out, and I have jump rings in gold out. Um, in my little, there are in my, these are the jump rings. Um, the little rings. I have these um, in my art bin drawers. And then I had picked up some um, thick gold kind of like cord or twine. I don't even know what you call this stuff. I got this on Etsy. It's really, really nice and thick. And I got it in the gold and silver. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to make a pink one. So I have my pink embroidery floss here. And what I did was, the first thing I do is I cut a piece of this um, that's about five and a half inches and I use my bow at all board to measure it so let me zoom in so you can see that there's like a ruler on the board itself and I just like cut like a piece of floss it's about approximately five and a half inches and um, it's not doesn't have to be exact you know just but I do that around that okay and then what I do is and I get my end of my floss here, and we're going to wrap, uh, create the bow first, okay? So what you do is you take this end, and you take this end, and you put it behind these two poles. Oh, and silly me, I forgot to show you the setting that I'm using on this. Let me get this stuff out of the way, I need to show you that first. Um, the bow at all board comes with these like little um, 
dies, um, they're stored in the side. So you need two of those and you need to set them at the half inch mark and the two inch mark. That's what I used to do my tassel bows uh, or my floss bows. And um, you can of course use whatever settings you like. That's just the one that I liked for the size that I created and you know, which I thought was cute. And so yeah, so now let's get back to this. So we have our kind of like five and a half inch piece over here. And then we have our uh, embroidery floss over here. And we are taking the one end and we're putting it behind these two poles. And I have the other end which is attached to the, to the, over here, um, still I have that to my right. And then I just take this end bring it to the front and loop it around 10 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can loop it as many times as you want or don't want. Um, you can do, uh, you know, whatever you want. I'm going to do like another one. We'll do 12. 12, okay. And then um, what we're going to do is then you need to take your five and a half inch piece and you need to center it here um, on, in, you know, in, uh, in the center of these two poles. You just kind of take this piece, wrap it around, and tie it. Tie it really tight. Um, And then like wrap it, oops, sorry, oops. And then wrap it around one more time and tie it again. And then at this point, I want to make sure that I put my jump ring in there since I'm going to be making this into a bow tassel combo. If you're not going to be making the bow tassel combo, you can just skip this step. So I have to open up my jump ring um, with my little pliers here. And I have to feed it through this um, thread that I wrapped around the center. Maybe I should zoom in for this. There we go. You can see it a little bit better. Keeps me, uh, I, know this, this is, I don't know how to work my camera terrifically. There we go. So I'm just gonna thread it through my thing. Oops, and this is, I think, the trickiest part. If you're not gonna do a bow tassel combo, you don't even have to do this. I just want to make sure it's around that. And then I'm going to take this thread again and wrap it around again and tie it again. But you have to make sure when you're doing it that you wrap it, when you're wrapping it, that you're through those, um, through the jump ring. You're wrapping it through the jump ring. If you're not, again, if you're not doing that part, it's a lot, it's a little bit easier. You don't have to worry about that. You just wrap it around a couple of times and tie it. Like I said, this bow at all, like having these poles holding this up, I think it makes the job so much easier. So yeah, so I wrap, had wrapped this around a couple of times, now I want to tie this good, a couple, you know, make a couple of knots so that this is nice and firm. And I am going to kind of wrap that up a little bit. I'm going to close my jump ring since I'm done tying. Okay. I think the jump ring's easier to manipulate not on this, um, not when it's on the bow at all, but here we go. Here we go. And I got that. I got that pretty good. So now, you just kind of see how the, this is still attached over here. I'm going to give that a clip now that I've tied the center and it's free. Now you take this whole thing and you just go boop and then you have that messy looking thing. So let me, I don't need the bow, bow at all board anymore so let me get that out of the way and put my little bow down here. And, and now it's just kind of like fixing up that jump ring and um, 
cutting. So let me do this jump ring again. I really want to get this nice and tight. Good. Okay. And now what we're going to do is just kind of, like I said, trimming and cutting. Because this looks kind of like a mess, right? Although I do think if you wanted to, like, um, not... You know, you could, I think this actually makes kind of a cute bow at this point. But to make the Maggie Holmes bows, you have to cut through these. So, you know, I think that's optional. But to be like the Maggie Holmes ones, we're going to cut. And you just kind of take your scissors and you put them through the loops and cut. And there's that one. And then there's one over here. Right. And now we got, now we got to do the other side. And cut. Through the little circles. Cut, cut, cut. Alright. Now we got that. It's starting to look better. And now we just have all these kind of like loose threads. We're going to trim those nice. So, um, And you want to trim them about even with the rest of the threads that are hanging around. So they blend in. And they're not dangling like weird. And these are the ones that are the back of the bow. Okay. This one. Try to trim it like that. This one we're gonna see where is this one? This one's part of this. And we're gonna trim this pretty um pretty short. Trim this one real short. I think I am in need of all new scissors. Okay. The sharp scissors would help me, you know, this go a little bit more smoothly. So there we go. So now I have um, this kind of trimmed out. And my jump ring. And my bow. So we're going to take these scraps away. And just kind of check out our work here. See how it's going. I think it looks pretty good. Let's see if it needs any more trimming. You know. These are like messy, so I don't know that they have to be. The look is sort of messy, so I don't think they have to be perfect. Right? So there we go. It looks super cute. Okay, so now we're going to make the little tassel to go on the end of this guy. So I'm going to put this guy aside over here. I'm going to bring my bow at all board back to do the tassel. You don't have to change any adjustments. Um, I leave these at the. Um, same place, the half inch and the two inch mark on the board. And I get my um, thread here, my embroidery floss. I am yeah, my embroidery floss. Oops, I'm zoom back out. Let's get my embroidery floss. I'm going to cut it a, a piece at five and a half again, roughly five and a half. And we're going to set that aside. And then I need to do. Um, 10 to 12 loops again, or as many as you want, or don't, you know, don't want. It's really up to you. So we're going to take it, same as before, you know, just loop it the 12 times, the 10 to 12 times. I'm going to do 10, oops. And my floss is knotted up. Okay, so I did the 10 this time. And then what I'm going to do is, um, this time, I'm just gonna, when I tie the string, I'm just gonna tie it very close to the pole to my right hand to make it a tassel instead of a bow. So let's do that. Oops, dropped it. Let's um, tie that knot very close to the top. There we go. Okay. And then um, tie it around again. And tie. Okay. And then we'll loop it around again. Tie it again. I'm gonna double knot it for the last one. Okay. Now at this point, you need to attach your jump ring, and I think it's easier to attach it when it's on these two poles again. So I'm going to pull out um, a gold jump ring again from my little art bin drawer. And I'm going to open it up with my plier, pliers. Um, 
And I got, there we go. I'm going to open it up there. See that? Okay. And then I'm going to attach this. Oops, that's. Um, you're going to attach this through the loop of the top loop of your tassel. Put that through here. And I consider this trickier than the last one. Oopsie. There we go. And through the top loop. This piece is kind of in my way, so I'm going to pull that out of the way. This thread got in my way. There we go. Now that's in there, and now I need to close it up. Close up that um, jump ring as best you can. Because you can go back and fiddle it once it's free. Okay, now I'm going to cut it free from the floss. And this one I'm going to cut hmm, get this over here like this. And then just kind of boop, boop, there you go. And now you have your jump ring through the top of your tassel here. Pull that to the top. And you can, and you kind of get into this really messy looking thing here, right? So let me um, put this down. Let me move my bow at all out of the way again. And um, we got to trim this guy up and make him look normal. So. Um, again, you take, this is the top end of your tassel with the jump ring, and we're going to trim these little, um, loops open again, like we did before, and then, oops, now you got more of a tassel, right, and so it's starting to look more normal, oops, and then I have to trim, like, you have to trim the loose ends, how oh, nice, so this end, I'm gonna trim close here, because it's part of the knot, Okay, and this ends part of the knot, so I'm going to trim that close too. If my scissors were sharper, it'd probably be a little bit easier. And then these guys, I'm just going to trim them so that they're um, even with the rest of the tassel, right? And then that's a little tassel there. It's looking pretty good. And you came out awfully cute. And here's my bow. So let me put these down. And I just want to make sure that this... I'm just going to go back and check my jump ring. Make sure I closed it good because it helps... Um, I think it helps to, at this point to, to do that again while it's free. And then I'm just going to attach a second jump ring to this. It's got another jump ring. I'm going to open and find the... Um, and to open, it's hard to see it. Gosh darn, there it is. Okay, so I'm opening up my jump ring. And I'm going to put the bow on there. And I'm going to put the tassel on there. Feed it through. And then I'm going to close this up. out very it comes out so super cute love it so here let me put it on my plate over here with my other ones that I created you can see how cute they turn out yeah. and if you want I can make one of the um, yarn ones just so you can see but it's the same the same process um, I'll make a yarn bow Silver. So I just have some, um, can you zoom out? Just have some um, basic yarn here. And I am going to loop this around like about 10 times again. One, so starting out like this. One, oh, wait, sorry. I need to cut the, the five and a half inch. No, I don't need to do that because I'm going to use the, sorry, I'm jumping all over the place. I am going to use the silver thread this time. I'm going to make a silver one. And I'm going to cut five and a half inches or six inches about of this stuff. So yeah, I'll do that because that's going. I'm going to use that to tie the center. 
And then I am going to wrap this around 10 times. I am just going to put my whole thing of thread under here. And I'm going to take my 6 inch piece and tie it through the center. Just um, tie this up. And what I want to do is I want to wrap this around a couple of times because I really want to, um, you know, make, build up um, a couple of layers of silver thread in the center so it shows up well um, against the fluffy thread. Okay, there we go. I'm going to tie this twice. I'm really kind of tying tight. And then we're going to pull this off. Boop! There we go. We have so far. And we're going to cut it free from the yarn. And then move the yarn out of the way. Let me move the bow at all out of the way. Okay, so now you have this. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to trim these guys down a little bit. Trim them down these silver bits and then we're going to cut um, see how pretty that looks with the silver center wow so then we're going to cut um, we're going to cut these guys in the center these loops down the center like we did the last time and it makes it really fluffy and then we're going to cut these guys down the center On this side, the other side, really, really cute. And then we're going to cut these guys roughly equal with the other ones so that they blend in good with this bow. How cute is that? So, yeah, so there we go. And, um, yeah. These, and then with these guys, like this, I don't have the same color, but they would obviously look, wanted to jump ring it, you know, they would look cute to have the cream and the um, aqua, or you can just do aqua and aqua and cream and cream, whatever you want to do. But yeah, I thought these came out so cute. And um, yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, leave them below. Um, and have a great day. Bye.